Good morning. Fight of the day. Look, the sun isn't even up. It's about quarter past six. And uh, I thought, why not go and have another look for the bar now? This is what it's going to be like a lot from now on. Up before dawn, getting an hour in before work, two hours in. Mm. Can't wait. Look, it is actually lightish. It's just the camera playing tricks. Although it's not as light as now the what the camera's saying. It's picking it up because I'm facing that pre sun up light. Can't wait. Let's go and have a look for a bar now. So we're walking down to the hide. I've had to uh, wade through quite a lot of water already. And uh, I'm confident it's going to be uh, an issue getting to the hide. It's been very nice. I don't know if they'll come up on this camera. There's, uh, there's kites passing over in the early morning. Jaunties. Let's see if we can pick that one up. Just right of the left hand tree there. Right. Anyway, comes another one. Bucket loads of things singing all around. Flooded. Yeah, well, let's try somewhere else. A couple of years ago, I took a picture of this cherry tree and uh, even though it's not properly light yet. It sure is pretty, isn't it? Even in this light. Don't you just love ice? The way it forms. Shapes it makes. As you know, I was talking about um, March, fun dates in March, 13th to be specific. Um, but March is pretty, has the potential to be a really interesting month. In the olden days, I mean the 1980s, early 1980s, March 3rd, that's today, um, second or third, I think it was second actually, but probably set the following day as well. Um, I found a rock pipit, which around here was rare. First rock pipit ever, for starters. I think that was 1983, again. Um, but you get the sort of sense that early March is when the bulk of the winter ducks and other wintering species on the move. So, 13th, we already know. Have a set. I later found out that March is one of the best months all over the country for our sets to be on the move. Not in big numbers, just ones and twos. We had two in April. We've only had three records, and I've been fortunate enough to be around for all three records. And um, self found. I found the first one, as we know. self found's cool because it just means you're out, you're being vigilant, and I guess to some extent, being out means you get a bit lucky, sometimes anyway. So, uh, March, still a stab 
at um, Golden Plover. And since it's so flooded, that's what I'm going to do. March is also a very good time for Merlin. And I've seen a few Merlins in March and October and November. But March is a good time for Merlins as well. I found two kestrels uh, yes, yes, day before yesterday. If you heard that, that's a green woodpecker. Not rare. As I said many times, not limited to golden plover, basically it's, it's everything. Um, <clears throat> naked eye is when you find a lot of stuff. You're walking along, what's that? You put your pins up and uh, you get on things. But you can pan around. Up, down, left or right makes no difference and uh, pick up a lot of stuff just panning. Panning for gold. <laughs> um, but either way, you just have to check everything and uh, combine the two. I'm going to probably bore people senseless with this. Combine the two, out as often as you can, panning all the time, checking everything, never make the mistake. It's easy to get lazy on any given day when you're a bit bored, but never make the mistake of just assuming a particular individual bird is something when you haven't checked properly. Check everything, all the time. Come on, Jack, running past. It's just spotted me. As soon as I whispered, <laughs> it spotted me. They're funny little things. <laughs>